Hey Pony Pals, it's Emma from Paint Pony Studios and today I have our single day horses from Briar Fest that I'm going to open for you guys. Um, we only did two out of the set of four this year just because, you know, the other ones I kind of liked them, not my favorites, but my mom really wanted a toe tapper who's a mini me of Boot Scoot and Boogie, which was the Sunday raffle from 2013, Denim and Diamonds. And then I really wanted Andante, who was based off of Allegro, which was the live show prize model from 2003. I thought it would be really cool to unbox these guys on camera for you and try to keep as much of the original packaging as possible, seeing as these guys are really, really neat. Um, they don't typically do blister cards for single day stable mates. Uh, normally it's like a little bag or a little box. Um, but I think because of the theme this year, they wanted to try and get these as close to like action figure looking as possible. And I, I really like it. I have no complaints about that. This is super duper cool, except for the fact that it's going to be very hard to save the packaging if that's something that you want to do. Um, so I'm going to give it my, my best shot. But then also on the back, they have, you know, what these were based off of. Um, if anybody's looking for a chiffon, uh, we do have a chiffon that is for sale on the website right now, so you guys can head over there and check that out. But I'm going to try to open these as carefully as possible using my handy dandy box cutter. Now kids, don't try this at home without adult supervision. I'm 20 and I still have adult supervision who's behind the camera right now. And we're going to try to get these open. See, just enough that I could get them out of the blister card without damaging that too much. Look at that, guys saved the blister cards. So if you guys have already watched our Briarfest haul video, you guys know that this is the year of minis for us. You know, came home with the 30th anniversary Stablemate set, all those micro resins, um, stuff that's under six inches tall. Uh, so these are really, really cool. I'm, I'm all for expanding my mini collection. Uh, just because like minis are fantastic like you can get all these super cool colors and patterns and they only take up like this much space um, so this is really awesome now i'm very familiar with uh, this mold i've painted a lot of this mold recently and i absolutely love it i'm not the biggest fan of the big brishin uh, it definitely has some anatomical errors but those errors don't translate over badly into mini scale like like there's a lot more things that I'm not like I'm not as picky with minis just because you know it is hard uh, to get that in a tiny sculpture to get all that anatomical correctness um, in a tiny tiny sculpture but this guy's painted super well the markings are really really crisp I don't see any flaws on him one of the biggest things that people were concerned about with the blister card packaging this year was getting flawed models. But I, with these two, I don't see any flaws whatsoever and his color is really rich. And I also love how they did the feathering and then the nice little like ombre on his tail. This guy is really cute and really looking forward to showing him as well. So toe tapper aside, then we have Andante, and I've I've never seen this mold in person. Uh, I've only seen pictures. So to own one of these little guys, this was last year's Premier Club stablemate. He was the mini Dundee, who I believe was named Darwin. And you know I wasn't the biggest fan of that color on this mold, but I really really love this dark. Uh, kind of a he's he's almost I don't want to say mealy but he has super nice shading 
for this little dark bay appy. And the masking is very nice as well. Now I didn't notice, and I, I don't think a lot of other people noticed, because of the blister card packaging, that this guy is glossy. And, and it complements his color perfectly. His eyes are also really, really great. Uh, and, and on toe tap or two, I've noticed that lately is that the, the eyes on these minis are, are done very nicely. So I'm really, really happy with the single day stable mates for this year. Even Chiffon and Aria, though they, um, we didn't come home with an Aria, uh, but even sh the Chiffon that we have looks to be super duper nice. And they're just upping their game with these minis to a point where um, I've always been a believer that minis can show against the big guys, but these could definitely win some ribbons against the big guys. So let me know in the comments. I might be able to put a little poll up there about what single day stable mate was your favorite this year. Um, did you guys come home with any of the single day stable mates? If so, let me know in the comments. Or do you guys even like to collect minis? You know, some people don't like to collect the mini size. But until next time, Pony Pals, I will see you in the next video. Bye!